Like you complain about everything and then it's like Good morning and welcome to another week of John and Daniel vlogs and we are in the kitchen today and Daniel's preparing breakfast lunch and talk as fast as I can so I can get it all out of the way because I have to go back to work because I'm really really busy but more important I'm very hungry. God he prepared that quick didn't he? To everything a couple of pounds and why not? It's really nice and it is all keto again. Oh my god I didn't tell you last night I ate such little food and I was so, so hungry. I really messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna show you. It's disgusting. So I was here and I was thinking, oh, I need something to eat. I need something, I need something. I couldn't stand it any longer. And I was saying, Dan, you make me something, make me something. He was like, no, and this is what I did. I ate that great big slab out of a chocolate cake, sponge cake. And you know what? I mean, a slice of cake might not seem a lot, but when you're trying to get into ketosis, it is a huge thing to do. So I really messed up there, but you know, I don't feel that bad because the amount of calories I actually ate yesterday was negligible. I was so confident that I was gonna start going out that I even thought I would protect my eyeballs from my sweat, because I do sweat a lot. And this actually, I got this on Christmas day, because I thought, well, not on Christmas day, but I ordered it on Christmas day. It's riding up. It's like, does it look cool? It doesn't, it looks stupid, doesn't it? I might wear it though. I might not wear it. What is it? It's just very peculiar. But I do have them and if I do sweat, I can like get it out of my bag or I'll probably even throw it in the bin, you know? It was just one of those fads. This is the reality of post Christmas. <laughs> All the trees are done on the street. Lovely, welcome to London in January. It's disgusting. You obviously know now, especially if you've got an Alexa, because every time I say Alexa, it's gonna affect yours. But oh, I'm sorry for saying Alexa, because I know it would be really annoying for you if I keep saying Alexa. But because I've got an Alexa in all the rooms, apart from the bedroom, I thought, you know what, I get one for the bedroom. And this is really cool because now all the lights are done. I've got like lights everywhere. Oh, like, um, it's just so cool. Look, I'll show you. So there's a light behind there. There's that light there. I've got the two side lights and I can see it quite low. Alexa, lights off. See, I like doing it. It's brilliant. Good morning, world. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm not actually. It's another day in lockdown in Fulham, London. And it is cold and it's miserable. But luckily you get to see myself on the back of my boyfriend Daniel there with his bad hair. This morning Daniel found himself in the bed and I couldn't go in there. I actually slept on the settee last night. And the reason I did that is because Daniel went to the bed laughing all night at this, um, you know, the first dates, and I couldn't stand it. It was just like noise all throughout the night. So I was like, okay, I'll sleep in the lounge. So that's another night when Daniel tried to get in bed with me and I moved. That's how long Daniel and I have been concentrating all from when it was light to when it was dark. I know the days are short, but we've been working. Oh, I'll just show you Daniel's face just in case you forgot what it looks like. Okay, 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 but I need to work. You might be on furlough, but why not? Daniel is, <clears throat> admittedly is working. Oh, that's not Daniel, that's just empty seat. That's Daniel. And we've been working very hard this week and it's been a hell of a week, late night, but it's at an end now. So I think we're up to that point where it's taking your clothes off and hiding the sausage time. What do you think, Daniel? <laughs> it doesn't get that reference. <laughs> so we're not going to hide the sausage, no? Look at him. Stop being so dramatic. I I filled up the list, John, and that is me. 
it is, well, it is good what he's doing. And he cooked twice a day. And I have been a have real- Have you done dishes, yeah? No, I have not. I did them, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna do them tonight. Sure, no, I'm not. I'm just not. Are you spoiled? Oh, give over. Why I do everything wrong? You know, I've been really hard on both Fleur and Daniel this week. And I think they kind of hate me. But you know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. While other companies are struggling, I have an opportunity to lay out the groundwork so I can be super successful, very rich, and take you for a meal. Of course it'll make me better looking. He says it's not gonna make me better looking, it will do, because what I will do, I told you, I'm gonna go straight out there and sort out this face. Mind you, it's not gonna make me any slimmer because. Yeah, John Collins. <laughs> what? John Collins. John Collins. I feel about her age. She's officially stopped her period. I'm really happy for that. Because that means she can get on the bed, she can go where she wants, and then there's gonna be another like nasty messes or cleaning things with salt and cold water. Yeah. She's taking a little toy. I have got to, well, Daniel said that he was gonna make some hummus for me tonight. And I said, don't bother, because it's so late. It's nearly 11 o'clock. Thanks for that, Jack. But tomorrow, our Sunday, Oh, Jack! <laughs> She's trying to give me the toy. <laughs> to Sunday, I'm gonna make sure that I've got plenty of like stuff in the fridge, what I can eat, which isn't like bad for me. Because if I keep going like I'm going, I'm gonna be the size of a small ship. I'm gonna go to bed. But before that, I think I'm gonna get another chocolate from the fridge. Yeah, I said it. What are you gonna do about it? night oh i just woke up and it's 11 o'clock in the morning i sent a message to sharon last night to see if she wants to go to a, for a walk i'm not even awake yet <laughs> uh, i slept on the um sofa again and now my back hurts it's not good for sleeping on all the time <sighs> come on john wake up <laughs> so much for me going out i'm just chilling at the moment i'm just watching about the yorkshire river it's very interesting, very macabre, but I like this kind of stuff. Daniel's still in the bed, he's taking Jack. <laughs> Maybe we should go out, I don't know, but it's my day off, so let me just, you know, stop pressuring me. This is one of John's Christmas presents, and I know that he, that he hasn't bought it for me, he's bought it for himself, he's gonna take over in a second. I'm so not. He knows that I'm gonna get bored so soon. All right, let's see, I'll give you a try anyway. What else am I gonna do on the day off? Quarantine. Same trick. Of course there is. Well, there might be like a thousands of them. No, there is this one thousand. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I can count, but just look at me. Rain man. So, if anybody, so if you are aware, look, you need to make space here. I have space. Okay, so you're doing it all this side. All right, so the trick is you have to place all the pieces out on the table. All of them? Yep, you put all the pieces out on the table. Yep. You turn them the right way up. Oh my God. And then you look for the corners and the straight edges first. All right, thank you, John. Now go, go away. How are you doing? Very badly, actually. Why? Because I don't know how you start. Yeah, but you're doing it right. You get all the, you've got all, look, there's corner piece there. Oh, so all the straight edges together. And then you just put, are you doing it exactly right? It was going to take ages. I thought it was going to be a quick thing. I didn't think there was going to be a thousand pieces. But you pieces. don't have to do it all straight away. You just rely, have something to drink, go and get a beer, and then you can do it and go back to it. And, you know, that's how you do it. What, drunk? Well, not drunk. I'm just saying because I know that you like to <laughs> relax by having a beer. So me, on the other hand, 12 bars of chocolate. If I look like I've just woken up, I have. I just fell asleep while Daniel was doing that puzzle and the puzzle's all, all over the table so I don't know how long it's going to take him to do but I'm going to go back to bed, you know, I was just sleeping all day but I don't know, maybe I need it. I don't care. Good night. It's shopping day today. I'm just emptying out of this water of the bath and then I'm going to start getting ready because we're going to go to Aldi. Daniel and I were supposed to be going, but downstairs, okay, we use this little magnetic thing, what we put on the on the door, and then it opens. It's broken. 
So it means that if Danny and I both go out, we can't go in. Uh, we can't get in unless we buzz one of the neighbours. So we can't guarantee, well, we sh they should be in. I say can't guarantee they're going to be in. So of course they're going to be in. But anyway, to save Mr. Matt and doing that, I'm actually going to go with Dalma, um, excuse me, from downstairs because she wants to go as well. And then there'll be more room in the back seat and in the boot for all our bikes. So this is the state of the um, jigsaw. This is how long, it's how long did it take you to do this? Uh, three hours. <laughs> Are you able to clean up the kitchen so we can put the stuff in the fridge when we come no, back, no, please? No, I'm not sorry. Sorry? No. Oh, come on, otherwise I have to do it when I get back. Good. I don't be so daft. And that white, there's so much washing as well. If you just throw that in there as sorry, well. Sorry, John, no. Don't be an Why? asshole. What? what? Come on. But they off, no. It's a lot nicer seeing this shot with a pretty girl here rather than an old pup, which happens to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Daniel couldn't come, well he could come if he wanted, but I didn't want all the, there wouldn't be enough room because the amount of sanitary towels I have to buy is like huge. <laughs> I keep getting requests, this is no joke actually. There's a few people who keep asking me to buy adult nappies and wear them through the day. I know it is weird, but I think I'm going to do it. So I don't think adult, um, Aldi sells them, but I'm going to have a look. Um, but I want a giant baby suit as well. You are weird, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't have a nappy without a baby grown, because that would be weird. I remember to bring all those bags, which is like, I never do it, but it's just stupid if I don't. Don't even bring any. Look how nice my ass looks. Yeah, it doesn't. Look how bald I am from the back. That was really quick. Dam is still shopping. But everything what I got is keto. So I'm quite happy with myself. I had to get some frozen meats and I also had to get some frozen fish, but that's all good. I think Dana's having too much of a good time. She's never been here before. She's just running around the whole store getting all these new stuff. Oh, she likes it. In your opinion, do you think that you save money by going to Aldi? Oh, definitely. I shop for at least two weeks. Meat, that, what is that? Cheese, oh my god, it was cheese heaven. Yes. <laughs> I bought so many types of cheese. <laughs> Hola, <Philippe. laughs> but cheese is good. I mean, it's like, okay, well, it is good. Eating every night. Uh, yeah. With a biscuit, no, no. Oh, not with a biscuit, not with a sweet biscuit, <laughs> but yeah, cheese is good on keto. But yeah, come on, that's not too bad. That's 80 pounds, two people, that's 20 pounds a week to eat. Yeah, yeah very good. It's not bad. The prices are so much cheaper. I don't know why everybody didn't shop in Aldi. And I was saying the only reason I found it is because years ago I didn't shop in Aldi. But then I was going to a caravan and I found um, I found the supermarket which happened to be Aldi and I wanted to get some um, barbecue stuff. And the meat, what I got from Aldi, was amazing for the barbecue. So I kept going back. It was brilliant. We'll have to go again. Just let me know when you want to go again. Definitely. For sure. I've been on the phone with a friend got COVID, it's like a group of three of them. Michael, Kevin and Marcus all got COVID. And it's because a friend of theirs went to um, a funeral and she caught at the funeral, came back and gave it to her and oh, it's a nightmare. And it's so worrying. But anyway, on a lighter note, these are Daniels <laughs> and I won't drink them. And then I asked Daniel to make me one thing, which was this, this is hummus. And I can eat hummus every day, so, is that just two tins? Daniel, is that two tins? <gasps> Excuse me, is that two tins of uh, two tins of chickpeas? Three. Three, okay, cool. So that will last me a little bit, but it's great because some you can grab a carrot or a courgette, I don't know. So, and then just dip it in it. And I, he actually makes really nice hummus. Yum, 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 this yum, This box yum. got delivered a few days ago and it was full of frames new ones so i've replaced the old ones duh, 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 with these bigger new ones we, did, we had the app so this is how they looked before oh. like this and then they're going to go on the new frames which have, which are actually glass 
and then back on the walls. And Daniel seems to be having a fundamental problem with it. Let's have a look. Yeah. Don't let it, don't, it's got glass in it's it. It's my day off, I don't want to do anything. Neither it's do like, I. It's my day off as well, but I still went shopping at Al Aldi. Yeah. I still went shopping, and it's my day off as well, you know. He never wants to do anything. And he's got a beer. Hurry up, John, please. Come on. Look at state these walls are such a mess. You've done a great job with those I, I didn't even, I just, I'm just guessing. This was all done with A4 pieces of paper. <sighs> Hopefully they're okay. Careful, Penny's gonna complain. <laughs> Nobody's gonna complain. Just make sure they're straight. Uh -huh. Just like you. Lovely. Is it better? Yeah. We have to paint underneath all because there's paint on the walls there. They look a bit wonky. I know, but they're all, we can straighten them up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yes. Those look, looks better. I like the yellow. He's, he's actually complaining because he has to paint. Because all the paint came off underneath. We painted it when we took the old photos. Oh no! No, Daniel, don't! You need a shower anyway. I've had a shower! I want to lay on the sofa. Such a dick. This weekend went so quick. The dogs are really laying in bed. I can feel bits everywhere. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the heater on, the little electric blanket on the bottom. I'm gonna get myself cozy. I'm actually quite tired. It's uh, it's really early. I don't even think it's eight o'clock yet. But <sighs> it's time for Betty buys. Good night. I'm sure that so many people are gonna be complaining about this lockdown. But you know what? I mean, how I've been sat in the bath for ten minutes, like thinking about the situation and. It's undoubtedly the right thing to do to have a nationwide lockdown and keep all those people in so we don't go spreading that virus around. But I'm making the most of it. I'm not, you know, the only thing that I'm bothered about is just not getting out and doing the exercise because I can't get motivated because you know I keep going on about my fat body. But apart from that, I think it is a good thing. I mean, it's so easy to contract this horrible virus. And I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy from the things what I've read and the videos what I've seen. So I am content. Staying at home, working from Monday to Friday on my business, which is not making any money, knowing that the world would be a better place. I'm not half a kilo of icon, I'm not impressed. And I, it sounds strange, I mean, it always sounds strange to me when I say this, but I need to be eating more fat and no carbohydrates. And because I've been picking through at those chocolates, which is stupid. I didn't drink any alcohol at all, but those chocolates absolutely killed me. Just put that weight straight back on. But that's why everything's been done in the frying pan now. And we have some lovely, yummy stuff um, including, um, I don't know why I'm so giddy this morning. I was like really sleepy earlier. Um, I have some, I did have some mushrooms. Mushroom spinach eggs. Shut up! It's just a little one, all fried. Okay. No carbs. Okay. So you can turn around and get it. That's um, goat's cheese on top. It's wonderful. Where's the bread? No bread. But I am not on keto diet, you know that. You need to be. <laughs> Go away now. I'm not saying that I don't want sugar. Because I do want sugar. But I am now not having it. After me putting on that extra kilo nearly, I'm not going to do it. So it does mean making an effort and concentrating. Thank God I went shopping. You can't do it unless you have the right stuff in the fridge. You're going to eat the wrong stuff. Sarah Collings. That's what you would do, get the right stuff. Sarah, because she's eating carbs. She's like, why am I getting so fat? Because you're eating all the wrong stuff. Anyway, what we're doing now, we are gonna have this. So this is pork belly, and a lot of people might be going, oh, disgusting. And in some people's minds, that might be accurate, but really, 
it isn't. It's actually a very, very tasty meat indeed. And when you are <laughs> in the mindset of eating pork and you want to stay on keto, it's a very, very good meat to chew. And all we're gonna do today is, I, I was gonna use the spinach earlier, but I didn't. So I'm gonna lightly fry so lightly, I'm gonna I'm gonna fry it so it's cooked through, and then I'm gonna make sure it's nice and seared, and then I'm gonna add some garlic and spinach, salt and pepper. As simple as that. I'm gonna pick it. Beautiful. I'm gonna add some oil. I'm actually going to fry some onions. I'm going to put a few onions there to start with. I'm going to put a little bit of butter. Remember, this is a very fatty dish. We need to keep the fat content very, very high. This has to be cooked so well, not only because it's um, pork, but also we want to try and get that, you know, the like caramelised effect on the skin. Because the pan is slightly too big for the ring, the ring is really high, so it's a high temperature and you've got to keep moving the meats and the onions and the garlic from the outside of the pan into the middle, turn it over. So it's about 20, 25 minutes on a high heat, keep moving everything around. You get bigger bites when it's unwashed. So I'm gonna, because it's got lots of fats in that particular dish. So when I put these on, I'm gonna wash it nice because of what I ate, you know those crunchy bits. I remember once when my parents took me to the seaside and on the seaside we had a chip butty sandwich, which I used to love. Last time I ever had one was when it was on the beach and the wind blew and I got sand in my sandwich and it was crunch and now I can never ever ever eat a chip butty sandwich but that can happen if you don't wash your <coughs> if you don't wash your stuff properly okay let's get this in get some heat up there because we don't want to cook it we just want to wilt it it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Quick, ah. That's it. This is our lunch. We have more. Just try it, see if you like it first, because you might complain. Can I have some hummus? Can I have some uh, yogurt? Yeah. You know, I try to create something like, um, nice, so it's not like piling the plates up, and then he still asks for everything else. I think I might have overdone it with the fats today. All that pork and the extra butter, oh, it was disgusting. I mean, it would taste nice, don't get me wrong, but afterwards it was like sat in my stomach. But that's what you gotta do in keto. You gotta in increase all your fats and reduce all your carbohydrates. I'm just brushing out all the dog muck, not dog poo, but just like all the bits, what I think she's brought in from outside. I um, I think I've done for today. I'm sorry, I just don't have anything else interesting to share with you, except I really want a B-Day because I'm fed up of having to go in the shower every time I have a poo and wash my bottom is something what I really want to buy. You know, like connect it to the mains, squirt up your ass. Just think about that. Good night. You know that I made the breakfast yesterday, Daniel. And can you make it today? <laughs> Please, come on. Look, I did the pots last night. I left them out in Italy. And I did clean up reasonably after myself. The problem is if I let Daniel do the breakfast, then there'll be just, honestly, everything will be filthy. He just leaves everything I, out I, and he I, leaves I, it. What do you mean I. I? There's no I, I'm saying you, you, you. You're a mess. I'm perfect. I completely destroyed the eggs. I'm sorry, Daniel. You okay. Can you take it off me, please? It's not a lot, but it's a lot of salad. It's okay? It's lovely. One egg. Uh -oh. I absolutely threw that food down my throat. And you know what? I really enjoy the salad. Um, I don't always enjoy salads. 
and it tasted like summer. And I think it's because um, I found some balsamic vinegar when we cleaned out the cupboard, and balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and it was like, I really enjoyed it. Maybe it's because it's got maybe a bit sweeter, I don't know. Still craving sugar, but I am drinking coffee with extra cream in it, high fat content. I just looked at a picture of me when I was in my 20s. I was looking at it with them, my friend Sarah last night. She sent me some pictures of her, of her and I sent her one of me. I'm huge. I am massive. And I know that I've got a body frame so I can actually lose the weight. I'm like, all right, not amazing, but all right. Oh my God, can you just shut up about your weight? Daniel's complaining. It's true, you know, you just talk because you like, you complain about everything and then he's like... <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you were saying... You poked my eye! <laughs> you poked my eye! What is the point of this? Well, there's no point, it just makes me happy to do it. Babe, you got something in your hair. Yeah, I have you. Always in my hair. Oh. This actually went back in for another 10 minutes. And I always do amazing season on this stuff. But, oh, this looks nah. Oh, okay. I'm just going to give it to Danny to pick. There you go. I'm not hungry now. Don't you dare. Okay. I want sauce. I've, you've got, um, put some hummus in there. Thank you. Can you try the chicken? Tell me what you think. Nice. You know you've got no explanation except nice, nice. And the, the kind of effort you put into saying that word is just like crap. It's very spicy. It's not, is it? Yeah. I'm concluding my <laughs> evening in the big gay film house by watching Toy Story 2 and having a bowl of Greek yogurt, pine nuts and blueberries. Still want sure, but I'm not going to have any. I was going to weigh myself this evening. Just because I haven't been eating chocolate, but then I thought, you know what? I haven't been doing anything. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Look. It's been two days since I weighed myself and I got fatter. So I'm just gonna leave a few days and I know I haven't been doing any exercise, so I don't think I'll be losing the weight that fast. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a few more days and just to see if the food I've been eating, I will, because I promise, promise you, I'm not gonna eat any carbs now. I wanna see if I've actually lost the weight and see if this started to work. Oh, excuse me, oh. I'll see you in the morning. Night. I know I shouldn't, but I'm kind of first thing in the morning thinking I'm going to weigh myself again. I mean, it's. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do it. It's so confusing. I don't even know if it's right because according to that thing, I've lost another kilo in two days. Can you lose a kilo just by what you're eating? This is very confusing. You know, I put on a kilo by eating a couple of things over two days and then I've lost a kilo over two days by just eating keto stuff. So confusing. Do you want any water? Do you want any drink? No, it's okay. We just ate in the stuff which is in the fridge. I ordered these, um, I just ordered, I bought um, sausages frozen in a bag from, oh! Oh my God, it nearly went. Um, sausages which were in a bag frozen in Aldi, so I'm just gonna try them, see how they are. They might be crap, they don't look very good. But Daniel's done a nice salad. Oh, and I'm wearing my top, I'm wearing my slimming top. Um, if you went further down and saw my belly, it wouldn't be so slimming. But I am um, happy that I've lost that weight, that one kilogram just by not eating carbohydrate. And Daniel, he drank one beer yesterday, so he's not gonna drink any tonight, are you? He's not answering me. 
he probably won't. So I've told him to weigh his self to see if the trends go the same. Maybe like weigh yourself now, then in three days. Let's see. Look at this. I did, I rolled it in all herbs and spices, salt and peppers, and it's just cooling down now. So that's a nice big joint. And then keto, we're keeping up with the keto stuff. This is what I've prepared. I don't think you can tell what it is, but it's asparagus tips, some um, young broccoli, red peppers, onions, salt and pepper I've put in there, no garlic. I don't even know why I didn't put garlic in there. And then I'm just gonna slice this, I'm gonna have to wait for another five minutes, slice this beef and then present it to my beautiful Albanian boyfriend. This is the top one. It looks really good. Oh, thanks. This routine's getting so monotonous now. Finishing work at five o'clock. Daniel's decided to go to the bed. But it's my, what you don't realise is, when I finish work, I go to bed. He stays here, I chill out in there, watching movies from five o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes I actually do that. But not tonight, he's gone in there. And, you know, because you spend all day in this particular room, I don't want to spend any more time in it, but I'm going to have to. So yesterday I watched Toy Story 2, and I'm going to watch Toy Story 3. I do love me some Toy Story. Daniel just made me a lemon tea. It will come oh, oh. Linden tea? Linden tea. I'm exhausted. I think it's like a combination of all the, well, the like of sugar and, oh, you know, I'm buggered. So I'm gonna hit the side, as they say. I made my, my, myself a tea as well, because uh, I saw that the, it was very good for John to sleep, so cheers. <sighs> Don't need to be too tired, it's like, it's like a smell of poo and bleach, and he always leaves this thing on. I mean, I should leave it on for a bit longer. Fuck it up, He's gonna hate the same that I did to free to like it. But on that note, I'll just brush my Lawrence of Arabia wig out of the way, and I'm gonna say a good night. But before I do, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you watched it to the end, because I don't know why you do, because it's really long. But thank you, and I will see you next week on Thursday with probably longer and more thinning hair, 6.30.